Hello friends, welcome back to Cross Tora Tony. Today I'm going to show you how to change from this to this. So what are we going to need? We're going to need a little roll of red wheel tape. There were a few comments on the video I made, or sorry, the photos that I put on the uh, forum, the social media, and uh, sure enough, somebody asked me how it was done. Was it easy? Well, I'm going to show you now my way of putting on the red wheel tape. But first of all, you've got to make sure these wheels are nice and clean. As you can see, they get a lot of brake dust and uh, grime on them and your wheel tape is not going to stick. This is not going to stick on there because of the dust. So, we're going to use some uh, Holtz wheel cleaner and uh, going to get out a good scrub using a toothbrush to get around these spokes and do up the spokes. And uh, we know uh, these wheels really do look nice when they're nice and clean. So, without further ado, I'm going to spray a little bit of this on. I'm going to just put a, a little bit like this and then use my toothbrush and then I'm going to make sure, especially where we're going to stick the tape, the tape's coming down on the edge. Go up and down the spokes best we can. I shall do the centre. Need a little bit more squirt there. A little bit of squirt. So this is what we do fellas. Get them nice and clean and dazzle the uh, we can dazzle the BMW owners with our shiny wheels. <laughs> now there we go guys, give this a good clean. Up the spokes, right. You don't want to watch me do this for a half an hour. So I'll cut you loose and come back to you when we're finished. But what we do need is some fresh water and a sponge. And then we can rinse this off before it attacks anything. It's getting that dirt off, that's what we've got to do. Okay then fellas, see you in a bit. As you can see now, she's nice and clean and the wheel on the shaft drive side was much harder because there's less uh, space to work and the bike's leaning on top so I was laying on the floor and uh, it's now nice and clean. And now we need to let it dry. Now then, letting it dry, you've either got to wait for it to dry naturally uh, get a chamois cloth and uh, dry it manually, nick the wife's hair dryer, or if you're fortunate enough, you've got one of these. Now this is my hair dryer for the garden. So I'm now going to use this and we'll blast the water away. Put it on high power. Now I shall just push it back a little bit. Come on, baby. There. And now then just a, a quick wipe. Make sure they're really dry. Now some of you asked why did I use a hairdryer when I fitted the front wheel tape so it was very cold and the tape was stiff so it was used to help make the tape more flexible and bendable if you wish to go around the corners. So we're just using uh, the hairdryer to make sure it's really dry not a drop of water anywhere. Oh, I'm going to be pushing the bike backwards so I'm going to start here and go this way Pushing the bike backwards, I can continue like this. I'm back again. Sorry about that fellas, when I've got some tissue. You know, it. see there's a little bit of dirt there. They must be spotless. You all know the problem, we're always in a hurry to do this. And uh, now we take the little piece of tape. Now this is five millimetres wide five millimeters 
just to fit on that little bit there. It's perfect. I'm going to be sticking it to the this side of the, the space, not this side, because uh, on the red rocket I had some. When it changes the tyres, it does nick it a little bit here. So here we go then, guys. We need to Ooh, fiddly stuff in my big old hands. There we go. So we get the tape started, and I'm going to leave that there. Now then, I'm probably going to lay down. Uh, if my head's not in the way. And now the secret is to have a bit cleared and slowly bend it as you're going. If it doesn't look right, you can lift it up. Right. Not looking. Yeah, I just lifted that up again because I wasn't happy with that line it's taking. There's a bubble, so now then you can see some bubbles there. This is why I've got the hair dryer. You warm it up. And the bubbles are gone. Really make sure it's sticking now. That's good there. I'm happy with that. So I've got the start. Got the start, sound like a job. <laughs> Sounds like a job on the uh, on the building site, isn't it? I got the start, fella. If you ever, if you've ever worked on a building site, probably many of you haven't. Anyway, here we go. Stop rambling, Tony, and get this wheel tape on. I've got me bad old knees. I'm I'm kneeling on one of those uh, sporty sponge mats on the outside in the concrete. So it didn't look good there, so we just pull it back off until you're happy. So we're making straight tape go around a corner. It can be done. Keeping tension with this hand on the tape. There we go, that looks good. Give it a bit of a heat up. And then just Squeeze any little bubbles out. You know, if you're living in a hot country, I live in a hot country, I live in San Tropez. But at the moment, it's pretty cold. So the tape is stiff, stiffer than normal. There we go, let's get on with this now. I'm rambling. So you can see there's a little bubble there, a kink, and here. We can just push them out like that. Okay, it's looking good. It's not difficult, you just need to be patient. The end result is worth it there. Doesn't look good there, you see I'm close to the edge. I'll miss it, so I want to take that off. And just bring it in a bit closer. Keeping a nice tension on it. The other side is going to be harder because I'm going to have to be laying on the floor. Stand back and have a look. Well, I'll tell you what, you might see some winkles in it. A blind man on a galloping horse would love to see it. Right, let's move back a bit. Well, there we go, it's all nicely finished now. Back wheels are done. As I said earlier, it might not be perfect, but a blind man on a galloping horse would love to see it. So we uh, had some tape left over and I've just tarted it up a little bit, uh, with a little bit of tape. Front wheel, a bit more spare tape used there. This was the hardest because it's leanings on top of you almost. You can take the wheels off, but uh, well, the time you take the wheel off and do it all, it's a quicker like that. It's a bit painful, but it's okay. So there we are, fellas. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, 
please subscribe to Cross Tour of Tony. Uh, click on the bell so you get the latest videos. Let's pan back a little bit and uh, see her in all her beauty. The Phoenix Flyer. Catch you all again soon, fellas. Bye bye.